G'day. Mike from Aussie Mike's Bees again. We're capturing more bees. It's been swarm season here, done heaps where I haven't been able to video them. But this one's an interesting one. We've got a colony inside this chest of drawers here. On this second one up here, you might be able to see some bees going down. I'll get a bit closer. Um, a swarm a couple of weeks ago settled in there and I got a call from the owner. Say, please get them out. <laughs> I popped around the other day for a quick look and it's a bit dark in there, but you can see they've already built comb going down there. And I'll try to put this in, it's gonna go at a weird angle. But you can see all those bees in there. They're nice and calm at the moment. So what's my approach? Well, I'm just gonna vacuum up as many as I can with the uh, everything bee pack there. Incidentally, I've ordered another one. Uh, this is a couple of years old now and it's doing good, but it's starting to reach its end of time, I think. I've knocked it around. Um, so I've ordered the version 2.5, which will be really good. And that's in transit at the moment. But I'll use this one, I'll vacuum up all I can, and then I'll cut the comb out. The odds are the comb's gonna be way too soft to be able to rubber band up um, or elastic band for the Americans. And uh, so I'll just take it as I can and, and we'll see how we go. Now it's a little bit tricky because they're attached to the underside of this drawer. So I can't pull that drawer out and I can't pull this drawer out because the back of the drawer will hit them as well. So I'm gonna pull it out just a little bit and hopefully get a bit better access and I'll empty the rubbish out of that side then I can just start vacuuming. It's going to be a little limited in there and tricky. I'll just do the best I can. The side over here didn't want to move. It seems, I think they've gummed it up, but I'll just, I've got a little bit of uh, room in pulling this side out. That's good as I can get. And it looks like they've chewed through something to make all of this yellow powder I'd, maybe there's some insulation or something in there that they've gotten into so that could be a problem with the vacuum because that might get sucked up but I might get a putty knife and just uh, scrape that out of the way a bit it's handy it sort of came away in one clean movement so it's helpful I wouldn't want to suck that up. Seem like a nice calm bunch of bees, but often they start out that way. All right, I'm gonna get the vacuum going. So it's been about 15 minutes and I've been vacuuming up slowly and getting all these bits of comb out, quite a bit from that drawer. And I've pulled the drawer out, put it over there, vacuumed them all up. So now I've got this space available and I've been vacuuming up these in there. But look how many more there are. Plus, this top drawer is full of them as well. Still vacuuming. Still got lots more to get up there and up there, but also in this drawer. I'm not sure how I'm going to go with that lot. And it's still going. So I've got that last drawer out there. We've got a bit of cane in the bottom, but look at all of these. Still going, monsters worth. Going to be here for a while yet. Yeah, that's all the cane I've pulled out yet. They're uh, still going, even in this drawer next door. Still getting plenty there. But man, I've got to attack that lot there. There's a bunch of cane falling in the bottom. So, onwards and upwards. So, 
So this is what's left after about 90 minutes. I pull the drawers all apart, put this upside down, scraped all the wax out. A few straggler bees. Now, the question is, have I got the queen? Well, this is what tends to happen if I have got the queen. I get a whole bunch of bees gathering up around me. Beekeeping. It's only a percentage of whether you're right or not having the queen and there's also a possibility that I've damaged during sucking her up. I had my queen cage there ready to catch her, kept my eyes open but it was really dark and I've got this um, wall with sunlight coming through it and it made it really difficult to see. Uh, so this was an interesting challenge. It's a massive hive. What I thought was just one drawer worth was half this set of drawers. They were just packed everywhere. So I've got them all in the bucket of the Everything Bee Vac. It's still humming away there. I'm gonna just get up to the car, switch it off. Now it is heavy with bees. I think this might be the heaviest I've ever had. It is chockers. So I'm going to, uh, like I said before, I can't turn the speed down any more than that. And that's about mid normal speed. So I've got a new controller on order with the new bucket that fixes it. So I'm going to take these home. And if I've got that queen in there, we should be lucky. I'm going to put them in a new box. And I'll show you that end when I get there. For the homeowner, well, of getting their chest of drawers back and a few tools that were trapped in there <laughs> and a bunch of other things so I've left it all open and apart so it doesn't look at all attractive to the bees they so give it a scrub and uh, just let all those stragglers wander off and well drop dead and that's what they're going to do and uh, hopefully I'll get a new successful colony out of this in my apiary so I'll see you at the other end uh, time was getting away from me a bit, so I didn't film this last bit where I put the bucket of bees onto the hive. But you can see I've got the hive here ready for them. And that bit of white there is just a bit of core flute, like a real estate sign material. And I've got a hole cut in it that matches the size of the hole of the bucket. So what I do is I pop the lid off, see down there, that's the air filter that keeps the bees in there and don't get sucked up into the motor. So I pop that off and then I put the bucket upside down onto that hole. Then they can uh, work their way down into the frames. I've got new foundation. I'm totally out <laughs> of drawn comb. I've, I put some of their comb rubber banded into a frame. They'd be drawn to that. What I found when I inspected that is that I couldn't find any brood in it. There was pollen and nectar, but nothing capped. So really they've only been there for less than two weeks and they've drawn a ton of comb, uh, but I couldn't mount, uh, I couldn't frame most of it because it was just too soft. Uh, but I did get a couple of pieces in one frame and hopefully that will entice them. I didn't see egg, which surprised me a bit because there was a lot of comb. Often they'll get laying, the queen will start laying in the tiniest bit of comb that's been laid down. There might have been eggs that I just couldn't see and I was in a bit of a, it was a big job. It turned, in, turned into a couple of hours and I was expecting it to be maybe an hour. So I'm just going to leave these bees here to settle in. It tends to work pretty good I've found. It's a gentle way. Before, like last season, I would get the, the uh, box open, all the frames exposed and then I would shake the bucket out. And it was a bit of a bit of a turmoil for them and it would upset them and they'd come stinging at me but this lot didn't sting at all and if I just do that it's up to them so you can see they're all hanging around these are the ones that spilled out before I got it all upside down and even now you to look down the entrance there's a couple of bees there fanning so I think they're gonna draw that scent from the Queen She's up in there somewhere. I give it a bit of a bounce, not a bounce, but I slap the sides a little to drop a bulk of bees down through the hole into the frame. And 
the frame so hopefully that scent will start coming out the entrance there and these other bees will head around here now a part of what can happen in this situation is and i've had it happen before is that they start building comb up in the yellow bucket so that, that's a bit of a, a nuisance but not unsalvageable the last lot i had I, all i had to do is come out the next day and i just gently shook the bees down into the box and and put the lid on and uh, that was actually this one here and now as you see I've got that showing it there's plenty of activity there they're coming and going now that was a, a big swarm I caught and um, they've settled in very nicely there's pollen coming in plenty of nectar so I reckon they're busy at it so I fully expect the same thing to happen over at our new one so that's it for this catch steadily adding to the season's expansion so I know I haven't posted a whole lot of videos um, lately but hopefully I'll get back into gear and uh, get a few more videos done I've, I've been getting calls for cutouts and spring uh, swarm catches so uh, I'll get some more videos of that uh, if you're interested and of course if you like what you see um, hit the like button subscribe if you want but share it with your friends as well I really appreciate that and until the next time beekeeping it's an obsession and I love it cheers